Hey there, Eli again coming at you from OSA in Coventry, here to talk about one of my favorite symbioses in the aquarium setting. As we know, on the reef in the wild, there are a lot of different symbioses, whether you're looking at corals and their symbionts being algae, or you're looking at uh, clownfish symbiosis with anemones. This is one that's overlooked a lot of times in the aquarium setting, and it happens to be the pistol shrimp and a watchman goby. These are one of the most charismatic pairs of critters you can put in your reef tank. Um, very interesting relationship going on here with the goby being more of the eyes for the shrimp, which is practically blind. Uh, they don't have very good eyesight and the shrimp being basically an engineer that builds a home for both the shrimp and the goby to live in. So in the aquarium, pistol shrimp is known for digging tunnels, moving a lot of sand around to kind of make themselves a home underneath your rock work whereas the Watchman Gobi is the eyes for the pair and, and watches over to make sure that coast is clear for the shrimp. If anything startles the Gobi, uh, the shrimp will immediately follow suit and, and head back into the tunnel. There are a wide variety of different gobies that do pair up with pistol shrimps, and there are also a handful of different pistol shrimps that you will come across in the hobby. This seems to be like your typical tiger pistol. Uh, with a yellow watchman goby, but there are also like banded shrimp gobies um, and other types of gobies that will pair with the shrimps as well. And there are also a handful of different type of pistol shrimps that you might encounter in the hobby. One of the most important things to consider before um, adding a pair to your aquarium is the placement of your rock work. These shrimps do move a lot of sand a lot of substrate and in doing so sometimes will cause your rocks to kind of move. If you plan on keeping a pair of these in your aquarium, it is best when you set your aquarium up to set your rocks on the glass before you add the sand to your aquarium. This kind of minimizes the chances that your rocks are going to move as the sand settles and is moved around uh, the rock work. Otherwise, these shrimps do sometimes tend to move other things that are on your sand bed. So if you keep frag plugs or small stones, seashells on the bottom of your aquarium, the shrimp is pretty likely to grab some of these smaller items and move them to kind of reinforce its tunnels. So if you don't want to see some of your smaller frags go missing, maybe it's a good idea to uh, steer clear of the shrimp. But Pistol Shrimp and the Watchman Gobi make one of the most cool additions for your aquarium, something that's always moving, always working in the tank, and just a really fun charismatic pair to watch in the aquarium. As always, thank you for watching. Feel free to check us out on osachoice.com. Uh, leave any comments for requests for future videos, and thank you for watching.